All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to another Detroit Lions video. Um, today, we're going to be going over week three um, when we face the Arizona Cardinals in Arizona. Um, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel or, and are enjoying the content, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with a Lions or an NFL fan. Um, you know, I'm very appreciative to everybody that does so. It makes my day. So if you could do that and help me out, that would be awesome. Um, but with that being said, let's get into week three against the Arizona Cardinals. Um, so... So last year in 2019, the Lions opened against Arizona in Arizona. Um, the game ended in a 27 to 27 tie, um, you know, and I think that a lot of Lions fans were disappointed in that. Um, I feel like we were the better team that game. Uh, we were leading. We had a huge lead going into the fourth quarter. Um, and, you know, that being the story of the season, we blew the lead. Um, you know, fortunately for us, we were able to get a tie out of that game. Um, but we should have won the game. Our defense should have stopped them. Um, our offense could have, you know, gotten a couple more first downs during the clock, but the defense really, um, you know, failed us that game. Um, you know, they played really well the first three quarters. They had a couple turnovers. They were stopping them on third down. They were holding them to field goals. And then in the fourth quarter, they just absolutely collapsed. Um, you know, I don't have the reasoning for that. I don't have you know, an excuse or anything for the Detroit Lions. That cannot happen if you want to win games in the NFL. Um, you cannot give up those big of leads in the fourth quarter if you want to be a good football team. Um, and unfortunately, the Lions defense did end up doing that. Um, but as I said, there were some positives to take away from that game. Um, we dominated the first three quarters. Um, our defense looked really good early and just kind of fell apart late. Um, our offense looked pretty good throughout most of the game and kind of stalled out late in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, we just didn't have a great fourth quarter, but the first three quarters were very, very good for the Detroit Lions, and we should have put it away with that kind of performance in the first three quarters. Um, as it was the first week, there weren't a lot of injuries, but um, Detroit was playing without Deshaun Hand, um, as they were most of the season, and the Arizona Cardinals were, pl were playing without Hassan Reddick, um, or at least he was limited in the amount of snaps that he was able to get. Um, I believe he played, but he was very limited to how much he actually played during the game. Um, so injuries weren't a big, you know, concern as it was week one as, you know, I don't think injuries will be a huge concern this year as it's only week three. Um, obviously the key additions, as we say, for the Detroit Lions, um, every week, the cornerbacks, uh, I'm going to put these guys on here most weeks because I think this was where the Detroit Lions tried to improve the most. Uh, I think that they really wanted to upgrade their secondary so they wouldn't get beat. Um, you know, one of the main reasons that we got beat last year by the Arizona Cardinals, um, in the fourth quarter, some of the reasons that they were able to even get back in the game is because at the end of the game, they took a lot of deep shots and, you know, connected. Um, you know, our cornerbacks, our safeties were getting beat. Um, you know, we could not stop Larry Fitzgerald for some reason. You know, he just kept getting open, kept making very, very good catches. Um, and they weren't easy. We made them tough, but Larry Fitzgerald just made absolutely spectacular catches um, over and over again and led the Cardinals back to a, you know, at least to tie the game up. Um and I think that the Lions really wanted to bolster their secondary this year, so that would not happen. Um, you know, I think that our secondary gave up a lot of big plays, and I, you know, if you want to be a good football team, you cannot give up big plays. Um, another addition is Julian Okwara. Um, I talked about this, but um, you know, this I think is going to be a big uh, deal for this game, especially because in Week One last year, Devon Kennard had three sacks, and now he's actually in Arizona. Um, the Detroit Lions cut him, and he was picked up by the Arizona Cardinals. You know, the next day. Um, so this will be a revenge game for Devon Kennard. Um, but I think Romeo or I think Julian O'Quara can fill in the Devon Kennard role very well. I think he'll be, um, I think he'll have a similar stat line. Um, you know, maybe not three sacks, but I think he'll at least get one. I don't think the Arizona offensive line is, uh, you know, super good. Uh, I think that's actually one of the areas that they struggle is offensive line. I just don't think they have very good. I don't think they have a lot of talent at that offensive line. They don't have a lot of skill they don't you know have the best offensive lineman in the league that is you know they have very good skill positions um they have a pretty good quarterback um you know they got some good pieces on defense I think the offensive line is really where they're struggling though where they lack a lot um and I think that that's something the Lions can take advantage of if our defensive line can get back to that 2019 form um I think that we could really cause Kyler Murray some problems um even as a mobile quarterback I think that you know we if we can disrupt him he's a shorter guy so if we can push the pocket in um, you know, disrupt him, not let him get set and get outside the pocket. I think we can contain him pretty uh, well. Um, last year, every, you know, it seemed like every time we sent a really, 
big blitz uh, we got through and, kind of, and at least Jelani Tavai was able to get him. Um, Devon Kennard was able to get him a couple times. I mean, you know, we we had, I think, four or five sacks in that game. The defensive line played very good last year, and I think that they'll be better next year um, and get even more sacks, production, and disruption. Um, and then somebody I haven't talked about before that was an addition for the Lions is our defensive coordinator, Corey Undlin. Um, this was the defensive backs coach for the Philadelphia Eagles from, you know, in 2018, 2019. Um, and this was the guy that we hired to be our defensive coordinator when Paul Pascaloni was fired. Um, and at this point, all three of our big coaches have won Super Bowls. Daryl Bevel won one with the Seahawks. Matt Patricia won a couple with the uh, New England Patriots. And now Corey Unlin won one with the Eagles a couple years ago. So all three of our coaches now know what it takes to go deep in the playoffs. They know what it takes to win a Super Bowl. Um, and I, I don't know how much that's going to help, but I think that I thought that was an interesting um, thing to point out is that all of our coaches have done it before. All of our coaches know what it takes to win a Super Bowl, to get to a Super Bowl, um, you know, and what it takes to be a good team in the NFL. Um, and um, I think that, you know, the Eagles had a really good secondary that year. They were aggressive. They were top five in turnovers. Um, you know, they hit hard, they jumped everything, uh, which could be, a you know, a not a very good thing because obviously if you jump everything, double moves are going to be good against your secondary. But I think we have good enough talent on the back end and the safeties to help cover that. Um, so next year, I would expect our cornerbacks to be a lot more aggressive, uh, drive on a lot more things in man coverage. Um, you know, I would expect our secondary to get better because I think they're going to be more aggressive in the air. Um, I think it's going to be very... Um, Re what's the word I think it's going to bear be very similar to what the Philadelphia Eagles defense looked like in 2018 when they won the Super Bowl um some key additions for the Cardinals would be DeAndre Hopkins obviously um they give up David Johnson in a second and basically robbed the Texans of DeAndre Hopkins um and I think this was a very good trade for the Detroit Lions or not for the Detroit I think this was a very good trade for the Arizona Cardinals and I think this will be a very big problem for the Detroit Lions um, but I will get into that in a you know, in a little bit. Um, obviously, Devon Kennard um, was a Lion last year, had three sacks against the Cardinals, as I said, and now is an Arizona Cardinal. Um, he's a very good player. This was a you know kind of a sneaky pickup for the Arizona Cardinals because um, somebody who had seven sacks last season is a very good leader, very good football player. Um, you know they added that to their defense, so I think that's going to be a very good pickup for them. Um, some key losses for the Detroit Lions are going to be Devon Kennard and Darius Slay. Um, obviously, Kennard went to the Arizona Cardinals, and Darius Slay went to the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, but I think we did a good job replacing both of them, and I wouldn't expect you know the position to be very different next year as far as production. Um, and the only big player that the Arizona Cardinals gave up was David Johnson um, in the trade to to get DeAndre Hopkins. Um, DeAndre Hopkins is one hundred percent an upgrade um, at wide receiver, and I don't, and, uh, I don't even think, um, I don't even think David Johnson was playing that much at the end of the season. Um, you know, D uh, David Johnson gave the Lions a lot of trouble early. Um, he gave the Lions a lot of trouble in week one. He had a touchdown or two. I mean, he was just going crazy against the Lions and had a very good game. Um, but he was not the same David Johnson late in the season after he came back from his injury. Um, so I think Kenyon Drake is going to be a very good back or uh, replacement. Uh, he was actually outperforming David Johnson by the end of the year, and I would expect him to have similar production to what Johnson um, was putting up before he got injured. Um, and just what, you know, Kenyon Drake did last year, I would expect that to stay pretty similar. Um, Kenyon Drake isn't the best running back in the league, but he's far from the worst. Um, I think he is better in Arizona than he was at Miami. Um, and I think that, you know, I think that if he gets a crease, he could, he could be very good, but I don't think that the offensive line is that good. And again, if our defensive line can get that push, get that initial pressure, I think that we can shut him down pretty easily. Um, one of the key matchups I think that needs to be looked at for this game is going to be our secondary versus the Cardinals um, passing game. Um, you know, I think that Kyler Murray is a very good quarterback. He's emerging as a star in this league. Um, obviously, you have DeAndre Hopkins, Larry Fitzgerald, Christian Kirk, Andy Isabella, Hakeem Butler. Um, you know, their wide receiver core is absolutely stacked. Um, they have tons and tons of good wide receivers, um, kind of like the Lions. The Lions have a lot of very good wide receivers. Um, and then I think that, you know, the main matchup to look at is going to be the passing games for each side. Um, obviously, the Cardinals have so many good wide receivers. Um, Ken Desmond Trufant and Jeffrey Okuda and Amani Oruwari and Justin Coleman and, um, you know, Jeff Okuda and Dar um, 
you know, Duran Harmon and Tracy Walker, can they keep up with all of those guys? And then vice versa, can Patrick Peterson and Buda Baker and um, Byron Murphy, um, can those guys keep up with Kenny Galladay and Marvin Hall and Marvin Jones and Danny Amendola um, and Geronimo Allison and Quintez Cephas? I mean, you know, I think that's going to be a very, uh, very good matchup to watch is just the secondaries versus the wide receiver core. Um, you know, I think that that's going to be kind of what the game is. I think it'll turn into an air raid kind of shootout kind of game. Um, and I could definitely see this one going either way. Uh, I think the Cardinals definitely got better this offseason. I think the Lions definitely got better in this offseason. Um, both teams improved uh, a lot last season uh, or a lot from last season. And uh, I think this will be a very interesting, you know, game to watch. I think this could come down to the wire and go either way. Um, another thing about that matchup, the last time Desmond Trufant went up against DeAndre Hopkins uh, was week five last year against the Texans. Um, and Trufant had a very good game against DeAndre Hopkins. Um, the Falcons defense obviously wasn't very good, but when Trufant was manned up against Hopkins, um, you know, Hopkins really didn't have any production. Um, Trufant locked him down pretty good um, and didn't really have any big highlight plays against Trufant in man coverage. Um, DeAndre Hopkins had a lot of big catches, but a lot of them were in zone coverage or when, um, you know, um, Desmond Trufant wasn't even covering DeAndre Hopkins. So um, kind of looking at that, um, if he can redo that again, I think that we can contain Hopkins. Um, but it's all, I mean, obviously we're gonna have to wait and see how the connection is between Kyler and Hopkins, how our secondary is playing after week two against the Packers. Um, obviously injuries will be a big thing, but I don't expect them to be too many as it's only uh, week three. Um, you know, I think, as I said, this game could go either way, but I think the Lions will get their revenge. I think they will get a lead and hold it this time. Um, I think they're going to come in with kind of a vengeance of that mindset that we should have won this game last year, you know, come in and prove that their comeback was an absolute fluke. It should not have happened. It will not happen this time. You know, I think they're going to come in with that mindset that, you know, we deserved the game last year and we're going to take it this year, no matter, you know, who tries to stop us. Um, and I think the Lions will, you know, I think it'll be close. I think it'll be a one score game. Um, I think it will win by, you know, a touchdown um, or a field goal. I don't think it'll be a lot. I don't think it'll be a huge deficit, but I think the Lions will start 0 and th uh, 3 and 0. Um, you know, I think that this game is going to come down to the wire. I think that it's going to be a very entertaining game. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of passing yards, a lot of passing touchdowns. Uh, you know, I think this will be a good game for fantasy owners. Um, but I think the Lions will pull it out in the end. Um, you know, I just thought we were the better team last year. And even with the addition of DeAndre Hopkins, I think our secondary got much, much better. Um, and I think that we will be able to get pressure on Kyler Murray and hopefully stop DeAndre Hopkins. But if DeAndre Hopkins is having a big day, um, I could definitely see the Cardinals winning this game. So um, but that is my opinion. Those are my thoughts. Um, you know, I think that the Detroit Lions are a much better team than people give credit for. Uh, people are going to say I'm biased having them go 0-3, but I think the first three games are very winnable games. And um, spoiler for tomorrow, I think it'll be very tough for the Detroit Lions to win against the Saints. Um, but obviously, that is a story for tomorrow. Um, you know, that is a video that I will be coming out with tomorrow. But I think that it'll be very tough for the Lions to win um, against the Saints. Um, but I think the Lions will start 3-0. I think Spirits will be high in Detroit. Um, you know, we'll have at least three wins going into our bye week. Um, and, you know, I think that that's going to be a very good start to the season for the Detroit Lions. Um, but that is all I have for today. If there is Lions news before tomorrow, um, I will obviously inform everybody, let everybody know. Um, if not, then I will see everybody tomorrow with the Saints prediction video. Um, you know, I appreciate everybody that watches. If you enjoy the content, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with anybody um, that you think would enjoy the content. Um, but with that being said, stay safe, stay safe, stay healthy, um, you know, and I will see everybody tomorrow with another video. Bye.